this next problem, we have a box on a table, and there's this slanted force F pushing on the box. The force is slanted at an angle theta to the horizontal. The box gets pushed at a constant speed to the right. And we're looking for the friction between the box and the table, the normal force between the box and the table, and the mu k between the box and the table. So in this problem, we don't have numbers to work with. So we will keep g as g, and our answers will be in terms of g and what's given. And what's given will be f theta m. So our answers can be in terms of uh, F, theta, M, and G. Now to find the friction, we may think that we need to use uh, friction equals to mu k times the normal force. The box is sliding, so it's kinetic friction. That means that we have to have mu k and the normal force. But the thing is, uh, we don't know either of those. Even if we find normal force, because there's no mu k, we will not be able to use this to find friction. In fact, what we have to do is, we have to first use other methods to find friction and normal force, and then use those two to find mu k. Because this is the only equation that involves the mu k. So here, we will just have to follow the problem-solving procedures. Direction of acceleration. If the box gets pushed to the right at a constant speed, that means the acceleration is zero. No direction. Now let's draw the force diagram. For the force diagram, we have this slanted force, and we're going to need to separate the horizontal and vertical direction. So I'm just going to find the components first. To find the components, we make a rectangle, and uh, the force goes down and to the right. So the components will be down and uh, to the right. The downward component is opposite to the angle, so this one is the sine component. This is the F sine theta. That means the other one has to be the cosine, F cosine theta. Now, let's draw the forces. You have the non-contact force, mg, going straight down. The box is touching this contact surface, which can give you normal force and friction. Normal force is gets, the box gets pushed upward. Normal force is perpendicular to the table. Friction, now we have friction. If the box slides to the right, the friction must be the ki kinetic friction against the sliding motion. So friction goes to the left. The box is also touching the slanted applied force. So instead of drawing the slanted force, we're going to draw those two components. F sine theta going down and uh, F cosine theta to the right. The box is not touching anything else, so we're done with our force diagram. Now let's write the force equation. Two-dimensional case, we separate the x and the y. In the x direction, the acceleration is uh, zero, so the force to the left and the right must be equal, so they can cancel completely. So friction is F cosine theta. Now this would be our answer because uh, F is given, theta is given. So we're answering in terms of what's given. In the Y direction, the acceleration is still zero. That means the upward force and the downward forces must be equal. The upward is normal force, the downward is mg plus F sine theta. And this is the answer. See, it's convenient sometimes when we don't have numbers to work with. So this is just your answer in terms of mgf theta.
That's the normal force. And it makes sense for the normal force to be more than mg because uh, this pushing force has a downward component F sine theta pushing down on it, making the box seem heavier to the table, making it heavier than mg by how much? By F sine theta. And for the x direction, see the friction has to cancel with your pushing force that's in the horizontal direction. So those two are equal because our acceleration is zero. Now we have enough information to find the mu k. See here, mu k is the friction divided by the normal force. And we have friction to plug in. And we have no more force to put in here. And that's it. You don't need your calculator at all. <laughs>